Hey guys, welcome back to Devotion Time with Nana. So we are going to uh, be back in the Jesus Listens by Sarah Young. Um, we're on Tuesday, November the 28th, and I apologize for getting uh, delayed in getting these out in a timely manner. I'm not going to give any excuses. Uh, there's nothing that could... Uh, that needs to stand in the way of getting these devotions out, is I do hope that even if it's just in some small way, it's an encouragement for you to get through your day. So um, hopefully in the future, I can get these out uh, in a more timely manner. Uh, I will definitely do my best. Um, so we're gonna dive right into November 28th. Dear Jesus, you have been showing me that thankfulness takes the sight, the sting, sorry, you have been showing me that the thankfulness takes the sting out of adversity. Moreover, the Bible instructs me to give thanks for everything. I see an element of mystery in this transaction. I give you thanks regardless of my feelings, and you give me joy regardless of my circumstances. This is a spiritual act of obedience, at times blind obedience. Thanking you for heartrending hardships can see, seem irrational or even impossible. But I've learned that when I obey you in this way, I am blessed, even though difficulties remain. Thankfulness opens my heart to your presence and my mind to your thoughts. I may still be in the same place, facing the same set of circumstances, but it's as if a light has been switched on, enabling me to see from your perspective more clearly. It is this light of your presence that removes the sting from adversity. Help me, Lord, to walk in the light with you more and more. In your luminous name, amen. <clears throat> so the scripture that um, we're going to read this morning, we're in Psalms. We're going to start with Psalm 89. Fifteen and sixteen. Mercy and truth go before your face. Blessed are the people who know the joyful sound. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. In your name they rejoice all day long, and in your righteousness they are exalted. And then Psalm 118, 1. <clears throat> O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. And then Ephesians 5.20. Idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies. Did I do that right? Five, twenty. I'm going to get, that just kind of is abrupt. And, and yes, it is. But let's get into that just a little bit more. So I'm going to back up in that scripture. And the, the heading for this particular series of scriptures or verses is walking in the spirit. So that's what we're, that's what Jesus was talking about here. Um, well, not Jesus, but in his word, that's what we're talking about. Um, so I'm going to start with verse five, chapter 5, verse 16. I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do these things that you wish. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. 
If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. So that gives you the whole concept of what was going on here. Um, I thought just 5 verse 20 um, didn't give you really an idea of the whole concept of, of what we're trying to get across here in this scripture. So I hope this has been an encouragement. I hope you have a wonderful day, whether you're beginning your day or ending your day, or maybe you're in the middle of your day on a lunch break or something like that. I hope that um, this will lift your spirits, help you find joy regardless of the circumstances that you're in. Um, call to the Lord, look upon Him, and He will help you to rise above the circumstances, whatever those may be, and help you find peace and joy throughout your day. So until the next video, I will see you later.